hello hello beautiful thank you for clicking my video i have another wig show and tell for you all today the wig in today's video was sent to me directly from the wig brand otre if you're interested in this wig by the end of the video or during the video i will leave website links below in the description box of different online beauty supply stores you could purchase from the wig that i have today is otre sleek lay part lace front wig in the style shalani color 2 According to the stock card, this wig is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. The lace is transparent HD lace. It has a humpless laid finish, so it should be nice and flat at the top. And it's available in 10 colors. Here's a close-up of inside of the wig. The parting space come on the left-hand side. You get two combs in the front, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. As for the cap material, it is made on a stretch fit breathable material, so that's really good for your hair underneath. And the lace is very light. But y'all already know, I'm going to try my best to tint it to my skin color. The hair texture is on the silky side and the hair already comes pre-curled for you. This is what the wig looked like straight out of the package. Here is a close-up of the hairline. You get baby hairs along the hairline. The hair that comes very lightly pre-plugged. The parting space is really nice and deep on the left-hand side, and the parting space come pre-plugged as well. So on the forehead, I wanted to pluck out some of the baby hairs, but I over-plucked the amount of baby hairs that I needed to pluck. I don't know why I plucked it so wide because I don't have a wide forehead. But in the end, I still made the end results work. Now I'm gonna take my Canra Volume Dry Shampoo and spray some of this on the hair. The hair is coming off very shiny, so I like to use this dry shampoo to help dim down my synthetic wig shines. Now I'm going in with this eyebrow razor to cut off the extra lace. I just take my time and cut right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. Hey there, so now it's time for the install. If you're interested in this wig, I would definitely leave the video link below to it in the description box. Definitely feel free to check it out. So here is the wig. Underneath the wig, I like to apply makeup powder. So right now I don't have any makeup powder underneath the lace, but I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me powder and a makeup brush and apply some of the makeup powder underneath the lace to help tint the lace. And this is how it looks after I did it. Right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. Underneath the wig, I went in with a medium brown stocking cap. One thing I noticed when putting this wig on, that parting space is real flat and I was already creating vision for the wig because y'all know I messed up on the baby hairs on the forehead. So I see a little vision. Let's get into it. Now I'm gonna take this LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. 
and I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the paper towel then smudge some of the product off with my makeup brush then go in and wipe it on top of the lace of the hairline The ear tab is longer than my ear, so I'm gonna go in and cut off some of that ear tab. Now to hold down the ear tab, I'm gonna go in with this olive oil super hold spray and spray one layer of spray on top of the lace, then blow dry it until it's completely dry. I'm gonna take this got to be glued spiking glue and use this to style my baby hairs. I usually call it the yellow got to be glue gel. <laughs> This was the amount of hair shedding I got after I ran my fingers through the curls lightly and to me that is low shedding. Hmm, I definitely see what Otre is trying to do here. A lot of these synthetic wig styles are definitely like repetitive, but this style right here, it's very different. I never seen a synthetic wig with this curl pattern. It's really cute. Almost giving me virgin hair dupe. So the length of this wig, I would say is about 22 inches on me and my height is 5'6". The hair density is low to medium, not too thick, not too thin, really nice for every day. I know some of y'all is like, okay, Carrie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this wig big head friendly? This wig is definitely big head friendly. My head circumference is 22 inches. It fits nice and snug, but I still have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. And if you have a small head, you're in for the clear as well. Just hook the adjustable straps really close or crisscross it. When I split the hair in the back, my tracks isn't showing and you can't see my wig cap. And one thing I could definitely say is the top of that wig is really flat. No humps, no bumps, and no lumps. This wig is perfect for a beginner if you're interested in the style and the look. What makes it very beginner friendly, all you have to do is cut off the lace and style your baby hairs. You don't have to wear the baby hairs if you don't want to. You can definitely wear this wig glueless. I don't have no glue or tape or none of that on the hairline. All I did was spray down the air tab for the wig show and tell, but you could wear it like that outside as well. And in the front, you know, if the hair is too much in your face because it's a deep side left part, you can always put some of the hair behind your ear and do a little swoop in the front. Really cute. And I think this wig would probably look cute in a low ponytail as well. So that's like pretty much it, you guys. I think it's really cute. Definitely beginner friendly. Parting space looking nice and deep. Not bad, especially for the price. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.